this is going to be my morning skincare routine. I'm going to do two videos back to back a couple of days apart. Uh, I'm going to do the morning, my morning skincare routine, which is a lot quicker, so the video should be shorter, and then my evening skincare routine. I get asked a lot about how I take care of my skin, and obviously everyone's skin is very, very different. Everybody's needs are different. People are different ages, different, oily, dry, some are sensitive, some are not, some like, so this is not a kind of cover all sorts of skincare. It's the routine I use and some of the principles I kind of live by or like some of the principles I uh, adhere to in skincare. And also because, you know, I'm in the beauty industry, I do like to try out lots of different products. There are a couple of products that I have been faithful to for a long, long time. So uh, I'm gonna single those out and then there's lots of products that I like you know like to use for a couple of months try something else but the actual steps of my routine have pretty much stayed the same since well not almost 14 but still it's kind of like I'm very much a um, cleanse tone moisturize kind of girl but I am actually gonna do everything I'm not gonna be washing my face in front of you because the tap is gonna be a pretty noisy but I'm gonna do my morning routine now so I'm just gonna shoot it and in the evening, I shall be wearing a little bit of makeup, I hope, even though I'm doing DIY now, so I'm not wearing tons of makeup most days. But I, um, I, yeah, this is gonna be pretty much without makeup the whole time. I can't believe, like, I willingly do this to myself online. Anyways, let's get started. So, first of all, I'll tell you about my skin. My skin is normal to combination. My problems are, uh, I got a little bit of kind of visible pores here on the top of my cheeks. I tend to sometimes break out around my chin. I think this is mostly hormonal. I have some pigmentation issues here, and it's weird because it's kind of where I frown. So I hate it that the pigmentation has kind of come here. And then there's a little tiny bit on my cheek as well. And also obviously fine lines kind of like keeping time at bay forever, you know, without having to resort to a Rene Zellweger. Um, yes, <laughs> so these are things that I like my skin um, care to tackle. So I still have wet hair. This is in my Muji band. I wear this every, every morning to kind of keep my hair off my face. And the first thing I do is I cleanse my face and I like a gel-based cleanser. I've got three on rotation right now. First one is by Fresh and it's their Soya Face Cleanser. All of the cleansers that I'm showing you are good for every single skin type. And the reason why I like them is they don't dry out my skin too much, but they get rid of everything. Like I like a cleanser that gets rid of makeup very, very efficiently that's safe to use around the eyes as well. Um, second one that's in my rotation is the Michael Todd Honey and Oat D, uh, gentle deep pore cleanser. Now Michael Todd, I think the whole name is Michael Todd True Organics. They sent me some products uh, a few months ago and I've incorporated this one and a scrub that I'm gonna show you, that's one of my all time favorites, into my routine. And uh, because they did send me the products, I do have a 20% coupon code. Uh, so under here, there is like a link and if you click on that, you get 20% off their products. But uh, yeah, these were the ones that I really, really liked and kind of fit my routine, so I incorporated them. And last but not least, um, I love the design of the Maling & Goetz uh, products, is their Grapefruit Face Cleanser. This again is for all skin types. This again does the job beautifully. So it cleans your skin, gets rid of everything, but doesn't dry it out. So um, I don't know which one I'm gonna go for this morning. Hmm. So I'm not gonna show you me washing my face because everybody knows how to wash their face. So I'll be back with a clean face. So after cleansing, I like to tone and my absolute favorite is the multi apt Toner by Dermalogica. And I like a toner that you can spray on. I just don't like to waste toner on putting it on cotton pads. Like for me, cotton pads and um, cotton wool is kind of for taking off eye makeup, not for wasting on toner. And also another one that I have on rotation right now is the Luxme Orange Blossom Mist. And I bought this on holiday when we were in the Maldives. Just wrote to them if they're gonna ship stuff out from their spa over there because I absolutely love this and I have another cream from them that I love. 
So if they do sell them online or anywhere, I'll let you guys know. But um, this is the Orange Blossom Mist. And oh my God, I, lo I love the way it smells. And they're relatively, well, for being spa products, relatively inexpensive. Um, I did go through a phase of using SK2. Can't afford it right now. All my money is going towards DIY. So um, yeah, <laughs> uh, not doing that right now. Then I then I tend to use lip balm at this point. I don't know why. Uh, the current one on rotation is Sugar uh, Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. Love this stuff. I use the same one morning and night. And then I move on to eyes. Now I've got a cheaper one and more expensive one uh, in the morning that I'm using now. The cheaper one is by Nooks and it is their Nervonesque Lizier. I have, this is called First Wrinkle, First Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Contour Cream. De-stresses, illuminates anti-dark circles and it's really good for my sensitive skin because it does not irritate around my eyes at all. I, um, the, this has been probably on rotation for about five years. So I absolutely love, love, love it. A new one that is crazy expensive on rotation is by Pericone MD, and I cannot pronounce this. This is the Essil Glutathione <laughs> Eyelid Serum, and this is a godsend to hooded eye girls. So what I do is I put a little bit on my finger, and I do the top and around and all the way in. So it's like feather light. I don't like a heavy eye cream during the day because I feel like it messes up my makeup and I pat it in. I know most people say that you're meant to use your ring finger. I use index finger and I am sorry about that. But Hooded Eye Girls, this stuff actually does work and it lifts. It, I feel like it opens up my eye area. It's crazy expensive in Space and K. I think it was £95. I, I don't want to think about how expensive it was. It's worth it and the effects are cumulative so it immediately kind of opens and lifts but then like once you use it for a long time it's meant to you know make your eyes amazing. After that I use my moisturizer so right now for I've got a couple of moisturizers. My moisturizers are really basic actually I hope that I hope that people won't be disappointed. I uh, use uh, again Marlon and Goetz and this is the vitamin E face moisturizer amazing amazing under makeup it is like it has become one of my new firm favorites i tend to um i tend to do a lot of kind of activation and i pat slash smooth this on it is wonderful almost well relatively scentless i think the scent comes from the ingredients in it um but there's no scent at it but it really does not irritate my skin at all. I do my neck as well, but half of the time I completely forget. So um, I was going to forget right now. And that is almost my morning routine done. Sometimes, depending on if I, I don't know why I sometimes wake up with bigger pores and why I, not if I feel like it's a big pore day, I use the Bioderma Sebum Pore Refiner and I put it just kind of where I have the pores. I don't like this as an all over moisturizer. So instead of putting on my normal day cream, I just put that on. Um, I was going to show you the two other um, face creams that I have on rotation. This you would have heard, I, this has been my favorite for such a long time and they've discontinued it. I'm down to my second to last bottle. Clinidure of Sensitive Comfort. Uh, hyaluronic Acid. I love Hyaluronic Acid. And and the last thing I do as a beauty kind of thing in the morning is I take my Ascenta Skin. I only have a few left. Um, Ascenta Skin. I've been taking these for about, for over six months now. Vicky Nina uh, from Beauty GPS. She hasn't been making videos recently, but check out her channel anyway. The videos that are there are lovely, and she's a lovely, lovely person. Vicky introduced me to this um, initially, and I love it. So it is... EPA, DHA, GLA, there's lutein, vitamin D. It's what I always kind of believe in is you kind of, you take care of your skin internally and it will show externally. So I take two of those in the morning and two of those at night. Now they do have a liquid one. Hold on, I'll show you that one as well. So I keep mine in the fridge and you have to mix this before you take it. And you only take a teaspoon of this 
a day versus taking um, four. Whoops, sorry, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah, this is a uh, grapefruit tangerine flavor. My husband loves this. And, um, but yeah, I'm more of the pills girl, but it's kind of like a personal preference. And they, as well, I talked to them and there is, I believe it's $10 off plus free shipping. Um, but I think that this only applies to Northern America. I'm sorry, European girls, I know. Um, but there's a, so check the info box. There's a link to that. But that is my morning routine. So I'm gonna finish this video off here, uh, do my, you know, daily stuff, and then I'm gonna shoot another one tonight showing you my nighttime routine. So I'll hopefully see you in that video.